I love that. So when it comes to your um, your NFTs, my favorite piece is MacDiverse. I love that. Um, yes, I love that piece. I love I love your flow. I love the fact that so much of it is centered on your your face and your upper body, Thank which you. I think shows how good of a performer you are because it's so there isn't a whole lot else going on, Mm -hmm. but it's so captivating. I've replayed that (laughs) video like so many times. (laughs) Thank Um, you, love. I just love it. The facial expression is like (laughs) just so on point. The hair slicked back. So what was the creative process for for that specific project? Sure. So honestly, I... The song was a song I did with my my homie Witch Prophet from Canada, who's an amazing, brilliant singer songwriter, also very meta magic woman um, from Toronto. And she sent me this beat one night and she was like, I need you on this record. And she was like, I need it for the remix. And when I heard the record, I was like, I already know what I want to say. Like it, it, it literally poured out of me. Like I, I just had it. Mm-hmm. And so I wrote the, the song in 15 minutes, like the verse in 15 minutes, maybe less than recorded it and, and wrote it in 15 minutes, sent it back. She was like, I love it. It's done. That's it. Um, then I was like working with Jamel because we just green screened the garage, right? And we were like, oh, we want to just make things and see. And so Jamel was like, I just want to test some stuff out. Like, I don't need to make anything crazy. But you know me, I, I want to always make the crazy things. So I was like, <laughs> I got dressed. I was like, I'm going to slick back my hair. I'm about to get fresh. And we're going to make this epic. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I, I studied the Mactiverse a million times that day. And then Jamel set up the lights and everything in the garage. And then we shot. And it was literally supposed to just be Mm -hmm. for play. And we were just like playing Mm -hmm. around with shit. And he was like, okay, this is it. And then he, we worked on like what the background was going to be, what the the form was going to be. And Jamel edited most of it. And I did the performance, obviously. And then we were like, yo, this is fire. So we first put this on Instagram and it it did really well on Instagram. But then like months later, NFT came to us and we were like, yo, this is supposed to be an NFT. This is actually what this Mm. is supposed to be. And so when we put it on NFT, that that went crazy. Like, I think it's Mm -hmm. like one of the first music video-esque NFTs. Um, And was the first time people seen me like flow like this on nft Mm -hmm. and they were so hype um i remember there was like a crazy bidding war going on that day for it it was like nuts it was like the first time we had an insane like all the whales were bidding against this thing and i was Mm -hmm. like wow this was something that we were just like playing around with um Mm -hmm. and look at what happens you know so that was mactiverse i love that piece too it's one of my favorites 